Hello, this is Chrono331, and welcome to part 2 of my tutorial on how to make a Civilization on Civilization 4. And to begin, I'm going to tell you tools you need. You need something called, well you don't really need it, but it's better than a uh, notepad. Notepad++. Plus plus. And I will add a video, I mean a description, a uh, link in the video for it. And it is very helpful when you're uh, editing files that will be edited. And the other thing you need is DXBMP, which uh, puts backgrounds and does stuff that we need to do to BMP files. And so, first of all, we need to make folders for this. And what you do is you go into your Journal Hard Dive, see, uh, this Zoo Tycoon, I'm going to do that after a uh, Civilization 4, which is after Civilization 3, which I'm doing now. And your local disk program files is either in 2K games or for Rex games. Mine's in 2K games because I had Civilization 3 or 4. So it's in my Civilization 4. Well, that's because I got the Gold Vision first, and then I got the Young Sword. But you go into, either if you have an expansion pack, or if you don't, you just go into um, mods and you add your folder. You add like either your mod or uh, your civilization that you want to add. Like this is my mod. And the folders that you need to add, I will list in the video description. See, it goes from assets, it's art XML, interface, button, leader head, icon, and you need to add all of these folders. See? It's quite a lot of folders. And so, yeah, you need to add all those folders. And, let's see, yeah. You, when you've done, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll have a little description on what the uh, exact folder says. Next thing you need to do, you need to grab some files from the original, uh, thing. So go back and go into assets for them. And, uh, I have this, this is Notepad++. Plus Plus. I have it up and I have all the files that you need right here. And I'll list them in the description. I'll just go in them right now. And I'm, I'm not a thousand percent sure I'm on. I think most of them are in X, I think all of them, yeah, all of them are in XL, XML. And there's two here. There's Art Defined Civilizations we need. And Art Defined Leader Heads is one that you need. And, uh, I think there's, uh, leader head, you need CIF4 leader head infos, if I believe, and CIF4 civilization infos, let me check, yeah, okay, and those two, you need those two, files, and then you go into, I believe, text, no, um, let's see what else, game, oh, I'll, you know, uh, sorry, I'm trying to decide what, is really necessary right now, yeah. You'll eventually need this, but not right, really, right now. Game, game text strategies, right here. Civilization for a game text strategy. And another, the last one is in units. Civilization for unit infos. That's if you want to make a special unit, and if you don't, and what I haven't done yet is I haven't made a special building because I, I'm probably not going to do that because not uh, everyone has the um, Swords of Warlords or the expansion pack where in the, in the original game you can only have a uh, special unit I believe. Yeah, and those will be the files. I'll list all of them in the video description. What you need to do is you need to find a flag. Uh, first of all, I'll probably... I'll, uh, I might stop it here, but I might just get, s I'll just, okay, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to explain how you use these tools. Okay, so this is Notepad++, and this is in the Civilization Art Defined file. You don't have to do this, I'm just showing you what to do, uh, how to use it. It's like Notepad, but, um, it's, excuse me, it's good for these types of files because you need to put tabs, uh, to, to, for the, to read what you're saying, and so, it shows you where the tag starts, and the tag ends, it's very helpful, 
because in Notepad is just text, and there's and the blue is all tabs. No, uh, the black is all your text, and this is the version info and all other stuff that was provided. So that's what that's why that's why no no Notepad plus plus is a little better because it's plus plus, and yeah. That's Notepad plus plus, and I'll show you this DXT BMX. So, this is what it does. Open a file, and I'm just gonna take one from the from one of mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of goes on and on. I didn't really get, you don't really need a unit button, but it'll be there if you want to customize. This is the star red, it shows, you put, this is really what you all, this is really what it's basically it's for, the alpha channel. The alpha channel tells the game if it's transparent, if it's blah blah blah, and it's very helpful. It's, and it, this allows you to save in a DDS. BDS texture, which is, it's like, uh, I forgot what it's called, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check later, what it's, uh, it means, but it allows the game to actually read what you are, the little picture, this is the flag for, if you remember the first episode, um, Eurasia, that should do some gameplay with this thing, the flag for United America is this, it's not really, it doesn't really look like that, but it looks, like kind of compressed. Yeah, I should just leave the elf channel white and see what happens. I'll try that after the video. And yeah, that'll that'll get you started, part two. And um, uh, I'll see you in part three. We'll start to get our flags, get our leader heads, and start to get our civilization up. This is Chrono three 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 one. <laughs> see everybody later. Bye.